obviously I discovered a word I've long been trying to think of. <laughs> Contemplation is what this video is. I don't know if I can, if I need to upload this. But, um, contemplation is a thought process, basically. I've been, I want to contemplate extemporaneously the concept of force of spirit. I still haven't even communicated my understanding of the things, man. That's just, just fucking crazy. It's all up here in my head, and I'm so fucking scared it'll get lost. But I've at least documented my raw videos. I've, oh man, I had some really fucking good footage. I'm, I'm really hoping to get this project started soon because my spirit is just really fucking tired. So, anyway, I'm, I'm thinking of this. You know, I was outside listening to the fucking Osprey drive, drive overhead. And yes, I can use that term. I understand you guys. Sorry. I was thinking of your egos there for a minute. Boy, do you guys have egos. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of contemplation, I'm contemplating the con of of humanity of all time conning everyone's egos into disappearing by promising to get rid of all addictions perhaps I'm gonna try it with Jim I think this should be for bridging the gap, but yeah. I'm supposed to be using that, but I can't, I can't get back awake yet. I'm so out of it because of this fucking allergy thing. I'm so fucking pissed at you, Albertsons. I'm trying to save the fucking world here, folks. Come on, you know. Quit being so goddamn sloppy here, okay? Go help me out, bad. Help me out. You know. I'm disabled, I can barely take care of myself, and I gotta deal with you guys fucking things up because of laziness. I mean, come on. Please. You know, be more mindful. Uh, like I am. Uh, apparently. Not to sound that way. So, force of spirit. Anyway, I was outside watching the Osprey drive overhead. And going off of the tangential discussion of perspective and seeing past ego and talking to person and uh, you know, of course trying to address the person's ego so that it can be addressed what am I talking about <laughs> I'm sorry I'm contemplating anyway as the Osprey were driving overhead um, I I thought you know, get the hell out of my skies you know I'm, I'm just, I'm just I want to take this world back you know, for all of us, just, but, you know, uh, and I got to thinking, okay, yeah, let's take it by force, but, of spirit, you know, absolutely not by force, I don't want any violence, it's just, no, we don't need it, the battle is within us, the war is within us, a day of meditation, yeah, here we go, folks, here we go, here we go, this is an idea that's been developing. I've been contemplating it. A light goes off over his head. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> anyway, my director's my lighting director at uh, Motorola. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Oh no, I'm sorry. Now at Google <laughs> or NSA. Don't know who your bosses are anymore, do you? <laughs> Back in the shadows. Oh, sorry, can't do that. We don't hide here all the time. Anyway, mood lighting, please. Mood lighting, please. Okay. All right. All right. Takes me a while to get to the subject, doesn't it? <laughs> That's called brain damage. I can't think on my own. 
Especially not when my lighting director is fucking with me. You bastard. Come on. What's your name? Ginger? Rochelle? Mark? I don't know. Anyway. I'm not trying to be racist. Can't think of any... Thing. <laughs> so I... Yeah. So here's the idea, folks. <laughs> I hate this. No. 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 It is what it is. So here's the idea, folks. I want to pick a day. I want everybody to stop. I want everybody to prepare for this. Get ready for this. Let's plan for this. Um... I know a way to make it so that nobody be bothered by the day. Let's make it my birthday. I want this to be my birthday present from the world. If you guys don't mind. I'm empathetic and can see and can project my thoughts and reason into the future, into the possible futures and already see it happening and can feel my own emotions in the future. Possible emotions in the possible future. <laughs> I get it over with now, and then I'm not that way then. <laughs> but now I've already recorded it, so you... <laughs> Rod Serling, where are you? <laughs> he just drove by. Why did he quit smoking, though? <laughs> I try to have fun. Anyway, so this day, July 10th, 2014. You gotta go viral! On July 10th, 2014. On July 10th, 2014, <laughs> I have a birthday wish that I'd like you to all fulfill for me. July 10th is my birthday. I turn 46. Jesus. I'm alive again for the first time in about 10 years. Awake. Mostly. And for my first waking birthday. I'd like you all to take the day off. Full 24 hours. Take the day off from everything of man. Try to go out to the woods or out in the country or something, but if, you're, if you need to stay at home, that's fine too. But turn off the electricity. Turn off the phones. Turn off the internet. Turn off all the machines. Every one of them. The ones that can turn off. Everything that we don't need to survive on. Turn them all off. And do what you need to to relax. I encourage everyone to smoke a big bowl. Even if it's your first time. It helps. Don't do anything crazy. Just, just a little bit to help you see better is all. No drinking, please. No alcohol. That's, that's not going to help you help think. If you don't want to get stoned and don't have something else that helps you with divination, then, you know, just abstain and, and just contemplate. And that's the whole idea. I want everybody to contemplate. And what I'd like everybody to contemplate is how tomorrow will be. And the goal is to spend the whole day, as long as you need, to figure out what everyone else thinks tomorrow will be like. What we'll be like with each other. 
what we'll be like towards each other, what we'll do, how we'll treat each other, how we'll act, what machines we'll turn back on, what machines we won't. Just spend the whole day thinking. And let's call it an opportunity. Because if we can imagine what everyone else wants, and we can see that it's what we want, and we all do it, and we all succeed, then we have all discovered the rules of the universe. And we do it in one day. Now, I, I highly encourage the library. You know, prepare ahead of time. You know, do some studying. You know, read some books. You know, do, do, your, do your homework. You know, look into alternatives to money. And look into alternatives to everything you know and understand. You know, if you're, if you're a conservative, be, be ultra-progressive just for a day. Just as an experiment. And look at other possibilities. And, and, and dig deeper into the past, even. Hey, if you're a liberal, dig deep into the past. Way back, 1800s, 1600s, 100s, BCs, prehistory, all the way back to our ancestors, to before us, to other species even. You know, dig. Look at alternatives. You know, what should life be like? What would you like life to be like? What do you think everyone else on the world would like life to be like? You know, what we all what we all would like. You know, if you have a partner, try to imagine what they would like. But globally. You know, do we want a world of parties and and uh and drugs and racing and or, you know, there's some people that might not want that, right? Well you gotta consider that. So and it's an exercise in discipline too, because you've gotta tone down and you've got to take other people's perspectives. But if you can create enough pixels and fill them with knowledge and have enough understanding to connect those pixels to complete the picture, we'll all come up with the same picture. We'll all see the same thing. And then we just wake up. We don't even have to talk to each other. We just wake up and do it. We just start doing and being how we see we should be. Because we've discovered the rules of the universe. And what you're supposed to do, ultimately, is follow the rules of the universe, right? Right? So if ultimately you have to follow the rules of the universe, then I think logically we should dispense with the rules of man. And then go from there. If we need to. But try and ponder your future, your tomorrow. From that perspective. Sorry, the attention fell. <laughs> that was pretty good, though. About five minutes. But, uh... Anyway, so that's what I'm wishing for. On my birthday, July 10th, 2014. Just everybody stop and spend the day thinking. about that? And if you get there soon, well, I guess it's okay to talk to others about it. It's probably good to debate it if you need to, but spend some time contemplating on your own first. But anyway, prepare for the day. Prepare a feast, prepare to fast. Whatever you need to do that's most comfortable for you to think, to just sit and think. No games, no TV, no movies, no books, nothing. No input to your brain other than the world around you and what you need to learn that you haven't already. You know, prepare, you know, prepare those 
open pixels to be filled with knowledge that you can understand. You know, be prepared to make well, be making observations. Make those observations now. Anyway, so that's my wish. I hope it's understood that what I'm, what I'm hoping for. And, and, well, I hope you can understand that if we each succeed, or the more of us that succeed, the better off we'll be in just one day. I mean, imagine if we succeed. Imagine if everybody discovers the rules of the universe, understands them in a single day, comes to understand how we're supposed to do everything we do because the rules of the universe dictate how we're supposed to do what we're supposed, how, what we're supposed to do. But not the rules of man. Gotta ignore those. Some may be coincident, but gotta look at the rules of the universe first. <laughs> Hard. Yeah, that's why you can have to spend the whole day. But uh, anyway, yeah, so prepare a feast or, or, or prepare a fast and have everything ready for yourself and try and get everything cooked ahead of time and everything ready ahead of time and, you know, get your camp set up if you're going to go out to the woods or, you know, camp in the streets, whatever you need to do. Hey, go spend, go spend, yeah, there you go. Go spend the night with someone you, you, someone who thinks the complete opposite you do. Go spend the day with someone that thinks the complete opposite you do. That would be a good way. That That's an idea for some. That would be an idea for some. If you think that you need something like that, maybe it's a good idea. Go spend the day with someone who thinks the complete opposite. You know, but agree to think, agree to contemplate. You've got to both agree on that. That's fair, right? Got to go to abide by the same rules. You got to do the same thing. You know, you don't know what the rules of the universe are, but if you're both doing the same thing, that's better than one of you doing the right thing and one of you doing the wrong thing, isn't it? Because one of the rules of the universe is that we're supposed to work together. Because in that situation, working together is better. It's better that you're both wrong because there's less incompatibility, there's less conflict, there's less damage than if one of you is right and the other is wrong. Of course, with this, with cooperation. It's, it's not something you can hurt things by being wrong about too badly. Unless you're, like, cooperating in competing and shooting each other or something. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> contemplating. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to have that word back. Seems I was... No, I remember it at 13 in, in a couple of songs and I think asking someone something about it or someone asking me to contemplate something or some movie or show like Rod Serling or somebody. But, uh, yes, the thoughts do wander. But anyway, imagine if everybody thought the same. You know, even if we were all wrong, right? See, the rules of that game are that we should all think the same. So it's better that we're all wrong and be together than for some of us to be right and the rest of us to be wrong be, or the rest to be wrong because then you have conflict you have discord and disagreement and because one of the rules of the universe is that remember the picture I, I mentioned earlier well maybe you don't if I cut that out I guess I probably won't um, the um, if you have a pixel wrong it's gonna distort the image but not totally destroy it, right? Because you have all these other pixels. So you have a distortion here, so something's wrong over here. And you, okay, well, there's a distortion. Well, let's fix it. Boom, just like that. You fix the knowledge, and the understanding changes with it. And the picture is less distorted. <laughs> I like these metaphors. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to finally be able to function again intellectually 
Um, yeah, intellectually. Uh, not to sound arrogant, that's not the point, remember? That's your ego telling you that. Uh, anyway, even if we got it wrong, imagine if we all agreed on the same thing. You know, imagine if we all agreed on the same thing. And, and that's what democracy is. <laughs> wow, full circle here, somehow. Anyway, so that's my, you know, I mean, again, just uh, imagine if we all, even if we got it wrong, even if we got it wrong, which is going to be hard to do if you really sit down and imagine all the different peoples of the world. And maybe we can have something lead up to this, some kind of channel or show or series of books, or maybe I can recommend stuff. I don't know. No, I don't have time, folks. I'm sorry. I've got to concentrate on getting myself safe. This is like last effort here kind of thing. But, uh, well, if I get help, yeah, then I'll definitely give advice or, you know, whatever. But give me some help. <sighs> sorry, I don't want to sound like I'm begging. Damn it. I can do it myself. It's just going to take me a while. I might not make it. That's all. It is what it is. I don't know. For those unaware, I'm going through the final stages of clearing stuff in my digestive system that I eat that I'm allergic to. Thank you, Robertsons. Uh, please be responsible. Uh, stop being lazy. Anyway, it's quite painful and uh, very destructive of my thoughts. It tears into every thought. So, yeah. I guess it's a diary. Anyway, that's my birthday wish. Thank you. Sorry, I'm trying to think of what else I should say. I just, I don't feel like I'm... Trying to remember the rules of man and how to be social and... gracefully end the conversation. Uh, <laughs> good night. <laughs>